So I just got home from work, walked in the house, and I see this box waiting for me. And uh, I've been waiting for it for a long time. I'm super excited to have a look inside. I had to come out and film this video right away because I want to do an unboxing of it. But, uh, so I need to film this video in order for me to see what's inside because I haven't seen it yet. I have an idea what's in there. So up here, I'll post a link to a video I put up a little while ago. And Case Knives, WR Case and Sons, which is a company I love, were so kind they sent my daughter her first knife. Uh, go watch that video before you finish this one. The generosity we were just blown away with. After I received the knife and did that video, I was talking to my buddy Fred from Case and uh, just expressing my appreciation. We were talking about the different locking models and stuff, which I've always thought of Case knives. I have one here. Here's my trapper. as sort of a, a, a traditional slip joint knife, but they do a lot more than that. They do everything from lock blades. They have multiple different styles of locking blades. They do fixed blades. They do a ton of different stuff from cheaper stuff to real high end and uh, just awesome so he said uh, <laughs> I didn't exactly ask but uh, I was so excited when he said you know what let us send you some locking models so you can see for yourself and super stoked so without waiting any longer I'm gonna use my case trapper here <coughs> super cold air in the shop use my case chestnut bone trapper we're gonna peek into this box it's all paper there now so I can't see I'm gonna bring you in close I can't see anything let's start I'm wrapping it okay we've got a box inside a box Whoa. I think this is a decal. What is this? Oh, it's multiple. These are decals. This is too huge. Like 8 by 11. I'm guessing case knife details. Made to last more than a lifetime. Man, that is nice. Who has decals like that? They're massive. So cool. Okay. This alone is just awesome to get. These are going up uh, in my shop or in my office space or something. Made to last more than a lifetime. And buy your case knife here if you haven't already inherited one. Yeah. Since 1889. You know you're dealing with a reputable company when uh, they've been making knives since 1889. You know they've been doing things right. Now let's get into the serious stuff. Again, my trapper here in chestnut bone. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Love it. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Four case knives. Holy cow. <laughs> Man, the generosity is just unreal here. So we have these two massive decals which are sweet and four blades. Let's notice the boxes are a little different which is interesting. Okay, wait now. Turn it the right way here. So this box is the only one that's super different from the others. This one says Pocket Ward. Bradford, Pennsylvania. Pocket Ward series. All made in America, of course. Oh, can't wait. 
So let's just take a look at them one at a time here before my hands freeze off. This is a tribal lock. So my buddy Fred did explain to me the history between, between all the different locks and the different people that had uh, input, uh, input in designing them. And we'll probably talk about all of these knives uh, on their own later on. We'll have a deeper look right now. It's just a quick look for me. And once I can do some research and really learn about them, we'll take a look at each one in a separate video. Oh, man. Just look at that right out of box. Again, that is the navy blue tribal lock. I love this classic um, blue jigged bone with the red, with the red shield. Super awesome. And this is a lock back style. I'm not exactly sure of the name. It just kind of seems like a standard lock back to me. Oh, this knife is so thin. This is like a perfect carry size. I love my trapper, but my trapper is a little bit thick. So when it's down in your pocket, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit thick for like a dress pants or something. But look at that, man! That is gorgeous. Let's hear that lock again. Oh, that is nice. Oh, super stiff lock. Brand new, of course. Lock up is perfect, not a move. Got that brass all lined in around the scales. Man, that is classy. That is classy. Next up, what do we have here? Okay, this, this here is a copper lock in burnt indigo. Now the copper lock is the one that I was looking at, a, I asked him about because I really like the shape of the copper lock knives. Man, just look at that. Now I think, if I remember correctly, this is the Warncliffe. Yes, it is. The Warncliffe copper lock. What a pocket knife. What a piece to carry. That is gorgeous. Let me know what you think of that color. Burnt indigo says that's a super cool color. Definitely a conversation piece. Again, really thin knife. I'm actually really surprised at it. Look at how thin that is. Oh. <laughs> Again, super. That is gorgeous. It's hard to beat. Uh, it's hard to beat that class. I tell you. It's something that sure gets addicting. Man, case knife sure looks after me. This is a this is a small feeling knife. Loving the weight of it. Mini copper lock in chestnut. So I think the chestnut is the same color as my trapper I just opened the boxes with. That is nice. This one's a little bit smudgy out of box. Bit of oil on it. And that is nice. This is a little bit different color. That's the one thing you get about, uh, one thing about actual bone material, is that it's always a little bit different because it's different density. I know Ray Bartlett picked up one of these for his son, not this model, but uh, it was a chestnut bone like mine. And my trapper and chestnut bone, you can see, is more of an orangey color. But this model came out more, this is closer to his, more of a, of a brown, almost a wood brown color. Beautiful piece. Let's see that blade. Yeah, I love that shape. This, I love the shape of this blade. 
super thin blade. This is a perfect pocket knife, I think, for like a, for a professional carry. If you're a businessman or something like that, super little small gentleman's life like this is great. Just deep down in the pocket, barely feel it being that thin. It's so light, but yet you've got that richness and full quality build. Very strong. That is beautiful. And last, the box that says pocket worm that intrigues me. This is a mini copper lock in BUR green. I'm not sure what BUR means. Maybe it's burnt. Burnt green, maybe. Love that color. As soon as I see this color, I think of uh, my buddy Craig, Craig Whitelock, Force Walker 111. He loves green. I'm sure he'd love this knife. Man, that is sweet. So it's the exact same model as this one here. It's a mini copper lock, but it's in, I'm thinking it's burnt green. If I think about it, I'll throw the name up on the screen. Ooh, that's a keen edge there. Got a lot of bite to it. Pins, bolsters are polished perfectly. Absolutely movement free in the lock up. The lock bar here is uh, very tight to depress. And then of course that classic detent. Wow. These are just beautiful. What's your favorite? Comment down below. I think my favorite might be this model here. For me. This is a super cool knife. I love the shape of the blade. I love that color, the thinness, but the size. Uh, in spite of the thinness, just awesome. I think this one's my favorite. Comment down below and let me know what you think is your favorite based on what you see here. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Support Case Knives, man. Any company willing to do something like this for someone like me deserves your support. And I mean the quality built into these knives, the classiness and quality. These are heirloom knives. Right? These knives will always be classy. Just look at the richness on this. Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Fred. Thank you so much, WR Case and Sons. I can't thank you enough for this. These will be heirloom pieces in my collection, and I'm sure one day uh, they'll be passed down to my family. Fantastic. Thanks again so much. Thank you for watching. Look forward to these knives in upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next one.